the regional day school program um, for the deaf hard of hearing that is a program the state established to consolidate services for our deaf hard of hearing students there are currently 52 regional day schools in the state of Texas and then Lufkin ISD we actually serve 30 three districts including Lufkin ISD. And how many students would you say are part of this program? Right now we serve around 62 students and then we have um, several that right now are in our evaluation process. Okay. And so you all were awarded the grant um, to yes. support your department. Um, do you mind just explaining what you all will be using that money for? Yes, right now there is a shortage of interpreters across the state. And so we, last year, it was my first year as the administrator of this program, and we were trying to think how could we help, how could we find innovative ideas of getting interpreters and helping with that shortage. And so I started researching and came across this website and reached out to the company and had several meetings. And so it just worked out and I knew the grant would be coming through. We um, and it's always about innovation and so we thought you know this would be a great way to tie in our program and with our district and community. And why do you believe this is so important for the students? And the community? Well it gives them access to communication and language and so right now if they're using an interpreter and we're not going to get rid of our interpreters, our personal interpreters, but right now when they're using our interpreters, they're having to look at the interpreter while the instructor is maybe speaking over here, or they're having to look back and forth. With the sign glasses, there's actually a little projector in the glass, and it projects this interpreter into the lens of the glass. So they can watch the instructor and the interpreter at the same time. It also allows their movement and hands so we have some of our students in high school right now that are taking a patient care tech what April is it a patient um, care tech that they're learning phlebotomy and different nursing skills so as they're doing clinicals and their hands on activities they'll be able to utilize the sign glasses and still have access to that communication okay. and so where did the idea come about for these sign glasses well, like I said last year, we were um, dealing with shortage of interpreters, and so I um, started looking, and then our technology people also had gone to a conference, and Dr. Amanda Smith, one of our technology, she had seen something like this at one of the vendors and said, hey, I saw something with virtual interpreting, and so then I got online and started looking um, to see what I could find. And why do you believe there is a shortage of interpreters? It's a specialized skill. Um, I, Becky, okay. you have anything else? I mean, it's it's a specialized skill that not if you know. Bec uh, la, la, don't do all this in there, but <laughs> <laughs> so if you know, well, you have to have a connection or a reason, and so the deaf community is a tight knit, and it's a smaller community, and so it's not something that kids grow up saying I want to be an interpreter I mean it's something that they a lot of times have to have a connection to or they may discover it I think Miss Acker you discovered it in college and so it's just not something that I would say is a popular career that is out there to make people draw them into it mm -hmm. I think personal connections what you're personal saying. Mm -hmm. they've been personally impacted yes yeah pers the, a personal impact and so how many of these um, sign glasses are you all looking to have? Um, the grant is going to allow us to buy two. And so we will start with two and then hopefully over time we will be able to add to that collection. Okay. And so how much does it usually cost for these glasses? The glasses are 1500 each. And then we have to purchase a microphone that will go with them. And then there's also still an interpreter. It is virtual, so the interpreter is on a computer screen also. So if they need two-way communication, if they have a question or something for the interpreter, then they can actually ask the interpreter. They can look at the computer screen, ask the interpreter, and then the interpreter can voice their question to the instructor.